Hi. So I was just working on something really fun and kind of led myself down a path of making something that was a little Wes Anderson inspired. So I thought I would show you that in a little tutorial. Come on. Okay, we're gonna make a video. So let's create a blank video file in Canva. The key with Wes Anderson is a couple things. Obviously the color palette is very key and a quick Pinterest search will show you that. Um, but then also framing. It's very still center focused um, frame. So I wanted to make a little bit of a title sequence and I think we can do that um, just by finding some fun clips in the Canva library and playing with color. First of all, something that's really easy to do um, is I drop from kind of Pinterest color palettes straight into Canva. So if I want to add this background color, I can use the eyedropper and get something like this. By doing this, I can just kind of get a few of the Wes Anderson type colors into my document and we can go from there. All right, so since we're doing a title sequence, I think it'd be cool to find some video. I already found Cotton Brew from Pexels has some great videos of Scouts, which is kind of that Moonrise Kingdom vibe. So you can search directly within this. And so then it's a matter of just finding a frame that's quite static. Um, and centered. Oh, that's great. See how they walk. That feels very Wes Anderson. So I'll pop that into my background and then I will knock it back a bit so that we can see the kind of tint through it. That's a really easy way to add some tone. Um, I've already, I'll pull up what I, a couple that I've already found. great because it's like a varying uh, scale compared to this which is quite you know quite a wide shot to quite up close but it still has that same tonal hue and especially if I knock the back back um, and oh I don't wanna this is a great one I think this is great for the start of our title sequence feels very Wes Anderson. I think some of these, yeah, you just gotta really play around with how saturated the color is. I think we need a blue though. Like it needs a bit of a greeny blue. So let me go back to here and let's edit this. So what I'm doing, as you can see, is probably, it's just getting everything into frame. I'm not fussing yet with how long each clip is. I'm just like, let's get some looks. I feel like this is not, this is cute, but it's not framed very well. So this guy is good. I think I want something really centered like this shot is and like this shot is. Let's replace this dude. This one's quite good because it has the kids running in. All right, but I think maybe this needs to be green. So it's just a lot of playing around with your tints, your tones. All right, so now we're gonna add some text to this and hit T for text, bring this up. And honestly, I think you can use any font for this. I do not think that there will be a problem um, with whatever you go with. You can make anything look Wes Anderson-y. It's really just a matter of color. So I want to contrast this orange with something really bright that's legible. And this might work. 
Um, definitely going to need the, something a bit different. Hmm. Like I said, I think you can use anything. It's fun because it really will be about color and just having the text pop on the screen, no kind of effects at all. Let's, let's play with color before we put our words in. Ooh, that looks really nice. All right. Uh, so the text I want to put in here is the story of, but obviously you can put whatever you want in, which works well with the camera. The kids. I'm going to say the castle because it has that vibe. And me. This is a stand-in for me. Um, so if I just run through this, the story of the kids the castle, and me. Oh, she's got some tube. And then just shorten all of these to be very, very short. Let's play it through. That's it. A five minute tutorial on how to make a web and title sequence. And you can play with different tints as well as different fonts to achieve the look that you want while keeping it in that kind of Wes Anderson inspired universe. Um, shout out to Jessica Heesh and a bunch of other fantastic people that have worked on far more complex Wes Anderson title treatments. Uh, but if you're playing around with Canva in Canva and you want to um, have a crack at making your own, this is probably the best way to do it. Definitely the fastest way to do it. As always, like and subscribe.